Welcome back to Site Tech Intermountain, SPS 930 Total Station training videos. I wanted to show you an update that just came out on SiteWorks version 1.7. It just came out about a week ago, integrated survey. What it allows you to do is actually run both Total Station and your GPS receiver at the exact same time. The combo can be set up quite a few different ways. Here I've got the AT360 with my R780 on the top. You can use the uh, multi-track, the good old multi-track right here. You gotta take the cap off the top, and on the top does have the screws, so you would actually set this on, put that on the top. So it works with both of those. Um, and there's a couple things that we set up when we actually do this with uh, the heights. Um, I used my quick release on some of the testing I did, but with this cap on the top of the AT360, between that cap right there and the little bit of wiggle that comes in with the um, quick release, I found that it's pretty good not to have that on there. It makes it quite a bit tighter on the top right here. So the way this is gonna work is we're gonna actually hook up to the GPS first and it does it in an order already for us um, when we go into the integrated setup. And so we'll do GPS connection and then it'll hook up to the total station. We'll walk out there and backside in the total station to a couple points. So, when you come into your menu here, go ahead and do your normal job site setup where you go to project setup, connect device, and you have a new option here where uh, normally you had total station and GPS, you've got integrated survey. So if you hit this one, it's going to automatically come to a screen that's going to set us up for whatever job site you're on. Here you can see I've already got a job site set up that I've been on for my base and all that. But using quick release, I'm going to click that to say no. So it's going to go ahead and make my Bluetooth connection. I'm going to move out of my tarp right here and my cover and my canopy to make sure i got enough GPS satellites. And I'm going to say no to using the quick release. And no to using the tilt compensator right this second. And I'm going to go ahead and leave my rod height at what it is. So now that that is set up, that was an easy quick setup for the GPS. Now it instantly, all on its own, went to the connect to total station. My total station is on channel 1010, so I'm going to do that connection. Make sure you've got your antenna on the back right here, or you're not going to get very far away. I'm going to slide my pull all the way up here, my 2 meter pull, and click that in. While it's doing its connection, I'm going to go ahead and turn my total station towards me, make it a little easier to connect. Level looks pretty good. I'm gonna hit accept. I'm gonna leave the temperature where it's at and I am gonna set up arbitrary. Now you can enter a scale factor in here or do what you need to. I'm gonna leave that at zero and I'm gonna set up arbitrary. I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna add a point. I'm gonna hit my north complex control point here, hit select. Um, my rod height is still gonna stay at seven feet. Because my rod height at this point is what the total station is looking for. So a two meter pole clicked in 360. I'm gonna hit measure. I'm gonna go ahead and take the shot. We'll move over to another one. Here I'm gonna go ahead and add a point. We're gonna go ahead and put in my north complex number two and hit select. Still on the same AT360, I'm gonna hit measure. Measurements done, elevations within 6,000s, horizontal still off just a little bit. I think I've still got a little error in the total station in my bubble. No problem, we're gonna go ahead and accept it. Yes, it's out of tolerance. No, I'm not gonna save that point. And we are set up with the total station and the GPS at the exact same time. So you'll notice at the top of the screen here, I've got a toggle back and forth now. So I still have GPS tolerances, my horizontal and vertical, but I also still have the GPS, excuse me, the total station icon here, and you can see there's a box around it with a toggle back and forth. So I can just simply switch that toggle there over and it puts the box around the GPS. So now I'm on GPS and then I can switch back to total station. Let me show you how that works for staking a point though. So I'm gonna go ahead and level back up. I had pulled it back. Notoriously, this is a lot heavier system. With all this up top here, you're going to find that it's pretty top heavy. There's a lot of weight up there. I've already noticed a couple times i got to make sure that I keep my hand on the pole, especially if it's a little windy. 
and it's going to topple it over. So I'm going to level back up. Now what I'm going to do is zoom in and I'm going to touch and hold it. I'm going to stake the control point we're on. So I'm going to stake it to actually see what my horizontals and verticals are. Right now I'm on total station. So you can see up a little bit, over a little bit, but my vertical is within five to six thousands. It's not bouncing much because when I go to that, my rod height is automatically saved. It's seven foot. Once I switch from total station and toggle over to GPS, I'm still on the same control point staking it. Now I've got GPS tolerances back a little bit over a little. My cut fill is changing a little bit. That's a typical GPS thing, but it automatically changed my rod height right there as I switched. If you go into the rod height, you got to make sure that that use target height plus offset the receiver is in there. If not, it's not going to know that difference as you go back and forth between the two. So I can simply switch back and forth. Now, right now I'm out in the middle of kind of an open area. The switching back and forth between total station and GPS would be really helpful if you're working against buildings, working up against people that are driving around with trucks, you're constantly using the total station. Um, so you can just use GPS for a little while, but then all of a sudden you got to work up against the building um, and you got your total station for tighter tolerances there. Um, one other thing that's kind of neat along uh, that goes along with this is there's a turn two option now that comes up with this option. So if you had lost your total station, I showed in another video where you can joystick the total station, you can put it into search mode, or you can have it turn to a known control point or a known point anywhere on the job site, really. But here, I don't have anything right here in front of me. I'm halfway in between a control point out in front of me there and the one that I was on. And let's show you a scenario where you need to get back hooked up to the total station. I'm going to switch out of this menu and I'm going to go to menu and hit measure to cancel out that staking option. And I'm going to go back to total station and I'm going to move it away from us so it's not tracking on us. I'm going to hit F3 and I'm going to joystick it away from us. So it's not facing us. Let's say a water truck guy came by, you walked around a building, whatever it is, you need to get the total station. You're so far away that maybe you can't actually see where it's at to joystick it to you, even with the lights. What you can do since you've got your GPS on is go into the total station menu here and go back to that turn two option. And now with this new setting or this new version, excuse me, of 170, you've got a turn to GPS location. So as soon as you hit that and hit accept, the total station out in the distance automatically turned to my position here where I'm at with the GPS. So now I've been brought back up, it's tracking me. I can go back into the total station. I also know exactly how far away I am if you're on the tracking option. So if you go in there and you don't have any of this stuff lit up on the left side right here, your VA, VD, HD, none of that's there. It's most likely because you're on this setting right here, which is this uh, standard. So STD option, which is standard. I don't have any of those other options right there. So if you put that on tracking, then it gives me a distance. I'm 226 feet away from it. Sometimes that helps. I used to use that all the time when I did 3D paving or was walking away from a total station doing survey. I was always really conscious of how far away I was from it because of a plane and not getting good tolerances. So I use that all the time right there to know how far away I was. But remember joystick, turn to GPS. Um, in another video, I'll show you how to do the turn to GPS without using an actual GPS receiver on the top here. You can use the internal GPS on the data collector to do the turn to. It's not quite as accurate as within a tenth or two because of the internal not being that accurate, but at least it'll get the total station pointed in the right direction. So hopefully this helped on the integrated setup of both using a total station and GPS at the exact same time and just switching it back and forth here. Uh, thank you for watching this from Site Tech Inner Mountain, total station setups. Thank you.